Alrighty folks, so before we dive into what this whole video is about, uh, we're gonna do a little story time. Pull my transmission again. Rip this manacled off. So. At the beginning of March, we went to United by Bronco in Hurricane, Utah. We played at San Hollow State Park. Had a blast. It was a great event. Uh, ended up sand drag racing my Bronco through the sand, obviously. Ended up having a lot of problems afterward. That was kind of the birth of a lot of issues with this thing. Uh, which ended up getting addressed right before our event uh, at the beginning of May. So I spent about a week before our event buttoning everything up. I ended up having to pull my transmission again, ended up having to pull the manifold, replace the gaskets, just all kinds of junk. With time ticking down before our event, I ended up getting this thing to run and uh, run properly. At least, so I thought. So, uh, our event was a Saturday and Sunday event. I had a 30 minute cruise, a street cruise, mind you. And then the next day we were out at Prairie City having fun. I didn't even rock crawl that much. I was driving around making sure the event was going smooth. Anyways, Monday we get back home. I'm pulling this thing off the trailer. And as I'm pulling it into the shop, it starts making an absolutely hideous knocking noise and it starts puking gas everywhere. So I'm like, what the heck? And again, mind you, I had just spent a week down to the wire trying to get this thing to run and uh, it pukes its gut out, guts out all of the sudden. So I decided that I had enough. I was just gonna let it sit for a little bit. It is now uh, halfway through July when we're filming this and I'm finally ready to diagnose this thing. So what I've done so far is I figured out that one of my fuel rails was having the gas leak. We fixed that. That was no big deal. Now we have to address this knocking noise, which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. But one thing I've got to do before we kind of dive into this whole thing is give a shout out to Jay Patterson, who I talked to at Supercell Wisconsin for basically giving me the direction for this video because I honestly had no idea where to start as far as diagnosing this thing. We're gonna dive into all of that and uh, show you guys what we find out. So first thing to do is show you guys that noise. All right, so while we're prepping the fuel pump, I don't know if it's part of your guys' Bronco lifestyle, just the anticipation of will this thing actually start up. Uh, it's definitely part of mine. You gotta have fun somehow, right? So let's see what this thing does. It didn't blow up. All right, not, not bad. Seems like it's running a little rough. What can you do? I'm gonna open up the cutout and see if it sounds any different, which obviously it will, but just uh, see if it starts running any better for some reason. and turn that off. Yeah, so we got a little bit of smoke. I think that's just some of the gas that had ended up pouring in there. I don't know if it puddled down there in the headers. I gotta figure out how to make you guys hear the noise. Let me get this camera set up and uh, we'll see what we can do. One thing before I fire it up is just to know I'm gonna fire this thing up and you can kind of only hear the noise when I rev it. Uh, that's basically the noise. I have no idea what it's from, um, but that's what this video is for today. One of the first things that we're going to do is we're just gonna listen to it again, but this time we're gonna be doing it with a special tool. One second. The first thing that Jay recommended we do is grab a handy dandy little nifty screwdriver. By little, I mean a very long screwdriver. And what we're gonna be doing is basically using it as a stethoscope. I think that's what it's called. I should have done my research. We're gonna cup 
the screwdriver at the top and we're just gonna kind of put it on different surfaces and listen. Okay, so it's interesting, interesting stuff, this whole mechanic game. Again, I barely know what I'm talking about, but listening to the engine, the oil pan specifically from the bottom with my little homemade stethoscope, I don't know what it's supposed to sound like, but it does sound like there's a drag in there, like something's loose. Now, one thing that Jay had talked about was the rod caps coming loose. That usually happens under high RPM scenarios, i.e. I still don't know if that's the case. So what we are gonna do at this point is we are gonna pull individual spark plugs and we are going to see if the noise changes. Because if the noise, noise changes, that means there's something up with the compression. And if nothing changes on our, all eight, then I guess we're gonna drain the oil and just kind of check out the rod cap, see if something spun itself loose. Before we go anywhere else, we're gonna let James listen to the noise, because James has been doing this a lot longer than I have. And we're just gonna kind of see what he thinks. Are you down or are you busy? Nope. <laughs> you do? Okay, let's see. Piston slap, like a wrist pin. Piston slap. Yep, dude. that's what it sounds like. In case you guys didn't hear James's diagnosis, it's piston slap. A good old, good old Will Smith to the pistons. <laughs> so now, if it's if it's the piston knock, mm -hmm. this is what Jay Patterson told me is if I'm pulling these uh, the spark plugs for each individual deal. There's no explosion, so it should e either change the noise or eliminate it completely. So I, I guess we'll just keep going. So, we'll go with number two. Let's see what happens. At this point, we took our time listening to the engine. As each spark plug was removed, we revved the engine, listening carefully for a change in the knock. Lo and behold, cylinder four gave us some pretty solid evidence that it was the problem child. That sounds, yeah. You want, let me do it again. Which one is that? Four. That's four? Let's, here, let's do it one more time. Hold on. Let's take it off. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alrighty guys, so I think you could hear that pretty clearly. Whenever we take the number four spark plug off, it totally milds out the sound of this. According to James, that would point to piston slap. While we weren't 100% sure our diagnosis was correct, the next course of action was checking the spark plugs just to be safe. That's an average spark plug, ladies and gentlemen those turned out good, we would move on to pulling the valve covers and checking the rocker arms and the push rods. So, spark plugs are good. Uh, now what we're gonna do, like we said, is pull the valve cover, check the push rods, see if any of those are bent. I have, have already done those steps, but we're just gonna do it one more time. I didn't actually take a close look at the push rods, so we're just gonna see if we can see anything there. We'll get to that when we get to it. All right guys, so as you can see, the rocker arm is super loose. It's moving around like, uh, we won't say what. This is normally how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be that loose when it's not under compression or load. So James, kind of explain to the people what the potential issues are. Bent push rod or a busted lifter? All right, you guys heard it here first, folks. We're pulling the rocker arm pull the push rod, 
and you take a look at it. All righty guys, so it looks like the verdict right now is that we may have a broken lifter and according to the veterans, uh, the only way to check that is to pull the manifold off again. The veterans might not know what the heck they're talking about. Is there a way to tell if that lifter is jacked up with this whole thing without ripping it all apart? or do we just have to rip it apart? What do you guys think? Here you go, the veterans are asking for the internet's advice. <laughs> if you guys know of a better way to check, see if a lifter's broken or not, shoot it down in the comments. We're gonna start draining fluid again and uh, rip this manifold off. So let's get to work. <laughs> Alrighty folks, so after a long day in the 100 degree beef factory, intake manifold is off. Number four, at least one of the lifters is out. And uh, I think we found, if not the issue, one of the main issues. So, for those of you guys who've been doing mechanicing uh, long enough, uh, you guys could see the issue. For those of you guys who are like me, who have no idea what you're looking at, let me explain it to you. So right here, we have a perfectly good lifter. The, the bottom of this thing is flat. This is what sits down at the bottom in your block. And this is what we've got um, on the back end of this motor. As you guys can see, side by side comparison, this thing is super lobed out. Um, it's like a sphere in there. I don't know if you guys could tell. It's not flat. There's a lot of uh, material that's missing from this. I'm gonna kind of explain it the only way I know how to explain it because I'm still learning all of this stuff. Basically, something's jacked up. <laughs> because this lifter is jacked up, this means that my camshaft is completely jacked up, or at least that's the common consensus when it comes to something like this. Basically, what we have to do at this point is we have to pull the grill, we've gotta pull the radiator, pull the front dress off and, and get my cam out. We're probably gonna to have to replace all of the lifters, even though they weren't in this block for super long. Um, and then just kind of diagnose anything else that we see. It's kind of a bummer, but at the same time, it always feels good when you come across a problem that you know is a problem. With that said, I am not going to be doing that today in this 100 degree weather, but, uh, we are going to come back to this project and button everything up, so make sure you stay tuned. Anyways guys, uh, because we don't want to drag this video out for super long, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to close everything back up. We'll film a separate video where we show pulling the grill, putting everything in there. Uh, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Become one of the horsemen we would love to have you. Just a big reminder guys, we have launched our new 2021 Bronco parts, so make sure you check those out on our website. Make sure you like and comment. Um, any better ways to do this, to diagnose some of this stuff, and comment if this has ever happened to you. And with all of that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail, hopefully soon. <laughs> Peace!